Hello. So the first thing you should do when you practice is practice your scales. If you haven't learnt any of these scales yet, I'm going to show you in this video D major and A major, or if you're not sure whether you've done it with me yet or not, quickly check and then play along with me playing D major and A major so you warm your fingers up and then you can start your pieces. So D major scale, if you're not sure whether you've done it or not yet, is a pattern starting on the D string, climbing up with your fingers, so one D first, then one, two, three, and then the, you go to the A string and you do the same pattern, A, one, two, three, then you go backwards down the A string, so A, three, then two, one, A, then you do three on the D string, two, one, D. So it sounds like this. <laughs> First of all, when you're about to play the scale, double check firstly that your hand is in the right place. So your thumb should be opposite where your pointy finger is about to go. You see they're opposite each other. And your wrist is nice and straight and it's not pressing against the violin. It's down in a straight line and it's not pushing out either. It's just relaxed. And your fingers are over the D string ready to play. And then when you go over to the A string, you slightly move the angle of your arm to the A string. Yeah, but you see my thumb is on the side. If I show you from that side, my thumb is not pushing up really high and it's not down really low. It's about at the edge of the fingerboard there. Okay, opposite where my first finger is going to go. Right, so we play it together now. So you've got your hand ready, holding your violin nice and straight, wrist nice and low, bow ready on the D string. And I'm going to count us in and we're going to go really slow. So we're going to go D, one, two, three, and then carry on. Okay, you ready? Three, four. A string. Back down, two. Three on D. a little bit faster if you didn't rewind the video do it again okay so if you got it right we're gonna do it again and I won't shout anything out and we're gonna I'm gonna count in four just slightly faster not much one two three four <laughs> If you got that right, carry on again. We're going to do it a bit faster. If you didn't, go back, do it again. Okay, so a tiny bit faster again. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> is exactly the same but on the A string and the E string. Okay so I'll do it slightly slow first starting on A, get your hand ready, wrist, thumb on the edge of the fingerboard, fingers hovering over the A string. One, two, three, four. Rewind it if you need to do it again. But now we're going to try it slightly faster. So one, two, three, four. And one last time, a bit faster. Okay. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
So, if you've done those scales quite a few times and you're quite confident about them, now after this video is finished, um, it's a really good idea if you practice doing them with different bow patterns. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of ideas of patterns and then you can stop the video and just try them in a few different ways. So, just think about what you like to eat or what mum and dad are making you for dinner or your favourite treat or what you might have on your birthday. So let's say chocolate cake and ice cream. I would go, repeat that rhythm on the D string and I do all chocolate cake and ice cream on D and then the same thing on one, all the way up the scale. So I go chocolate cake and ice cream, 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 cake and ice cream etc. All the scale. And then you might say, um, I like hula hoops, I don't know. So I like hula hoops, I like hula hoops, I like hula hoops, something like that. Um, chicken chips and gravy. Chicken chips and gravy, chicken chips and gravy, chicken chips and gravy, chicken chips and gravy. Just make it up, anything you like to eat, or maybe your favourite drink, chocolate milkshake. Chocolate milkshake, chocolate milkshake, chocolate milkshake, chocolate milkshake, etc. But the reason that's really good is you're practising different speeds of downs and up bows, or you might be practising some really fast bows. So don't just only play your D major scale once and then be like, did it, warmed up. It's a good idea to practice some different patterns as well because it gets your arm moving and it gets you feeling more confident with using the bow, okay? So try some of those now. Don't just give up and move on to your pieces. Do the scales.